<clears throat> no, I don't have Corona. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of being in the house. That's what I have. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Night and Day, and um, hi. Let me just spill some tea real quick before I get into this video. If you haven't noticed already, I'm not really caring about if my videos are 10 minutes long or not. I've lost all hope. <laughs> I hate to sound so dramatic. What does it matter? You know, like, what does it matter? Like, I love YouTube so much, and I love making YouTube videos. I love editing, all that. And, like, I'm kind of at the point where, like, I want to give up so bad. I want to just be, like, F YouTube. But then again, I'm just, like, I don't want to let I don't wanna let the numbers get to my head. I'm just going to stop worrying about monetization hours and everything. Like, how long my videos are. Like, I'm just going to stop worrying about it all because at the end of the day, what it's meant to be will be. And if I'm not meant to be a popular YouTube content creator, then I'm just not meant to be. And I'm just going to keep it as a hobby. And also, my comments keep getting disabled. That's on YouTube. Now, that's something I don't like. I will never like that. Like, why are you guys disabling my comments? Especially for small creators. That's like I feel like that's like the biggest thing for smaller creators. Because that's how you can network. That's how you can, you know, just talk to new people. My inner marketing manager is creeping out right there. Network. Oh, she's creeping out. Why would you do so, all that rant stuff aside today? I'm gonna to be filming my unpopular opinion. Some of y'all about to be real mad at me because I feel like speaking my mind. Um, day 2567 on quarantine. Y'all know I'm gonna do my makeup while I do this. Let me respond to some messages real quick and I'm going to get right into this video. Oh, ten dollars. <laughs> All opinions are literally my own. Like, if you don't agree with my opinion, don't take offense to them. Just leave your feedback down below whether you agree or not. Because I hope these comments is at home. But if not, I'm going to have a little feedback thing definitely for this video on my Instagram story so I can hear what y'all got to say. And I feel a pimple coming. Let's get them to the love. The government created Corona, the coronavirus, to distract people from voting. Even if they didn't create it initially, I definitely do believe that they put it out there again just so people can be distracting because it's really coincidental that happens every time there's an election now, i know i'm not the only one that thinks this because it's a whole ordeal on Twitter. yeah even though it's a lot of people agree with this also it's unpopular because a lot of people kind of like want to wave off the idea of this and i feel like definitely specifically this time they want people to forget about voting so that trump can stay in office for another four years. TikTok is actually beneficial for small creators. A lot of people think that TikTok is just like this like ridiculous app. I did it first too. Like I was like, oh no, like TikTok is not gonna go anywhere. Now that I'm actually on there and I saw how fast I grew. If you don't know, I have 22,000 followers on TikTok. And that's not really a lot, especially for TikTok. That's not a lot, but like it's a lot for me, obviously. I forgot to mention this, but it's definitely like the algorithm of TikTok is so so different than anything anybody has ever seen you don't have to title your video a certain thing you don't have to use certain hashtags it's just your video regardless if it has likes or not is gonna get on somebody's for you page and when they like it just in case you didn't know when they like your video it boosts to like five more people and then when the five more people like your video it boosts to like 50 more people and like the amount of like followers i gain a day whenever that started happening to me i was like wow this is actually pretty like crazy or you like really funny or whatever and you want to start making like quicker content i definitely do think um tiktok is for you for example like wahoni he's really funny and he was a youtuber well he's been a youtuber this whole time but then he started making TikToks and his like TikTok account blew up. I think he has over a million, I'm not sure. Yeah, so then obviously like people watch his videos on YouTube because they relate to his like TikTok content. <gasps> oh, I probably should never did that, y'all. I really thought I was doing something with that, bro. Starbucks is actually not overrated at all. I don't believe that. I don't like when people not I don't like, but like I feel like people just love to say that Starbucks is overrated because everybody else says that Starbucks is overrated when in reality it's not really that overrated. It's just like the best, like the coffee is good. I mean, it's not the cheapest coffee. That's the coffee that really keeps me awake to be honest. So, hold on, let me figure out what palette I wanna use real quick. Do I kinda wanna be glittery today? I kinda wanna be dark. Okay, so this wasn't the palette I was looking for, but I guess I'll use like these dark forest green colors and like the dark green and dark blue. Cause I think it'll be cute. Brandy Melville is definitely overpriced, one. Overrated, two. And 
played out one size fits all thing i don't like that. there's nothing wrong with plastic surgery i don't really think there is especially cosmetic surgery i feel like if you want to change the way you look go for it personally i wouldn't ever get plastic surgery just because i don't want all that stuff in my body one two i kind of like the way i look like completely so unless something like tragic god forbid if somebody oh that is a track i mean now if it looks bad after <laughs> hey hold on this shit ain't funny it ain't funny but it is people knows jobs Brent Fayez, that's it, that's a tweet. Brent Fayez is definitely underrated. He's getting a little bit more popping and popular right now because all his songs are kind of like trending on TikTok. But those are like fake fans. Any stream is a good stream, I guess. Period, though, he deserves it. He, uh, he makes beautiful music. Yes, I know I'm holding this brush really awkwardly, but. Oh, by the way, this palette is the Ursula palette from Disney Channel. I don't know if y'all remember, but I couldn't go to his concert at first because I was gonna be out of town. But now I think my cruise is canceled. One, two, the tour is also postponed. So now I can go either way. I'm not gonna say I'm happy, but let's just say everything happens for a reason. Lord knows how much I wanted to go to his concert. I kinda like the look, not even gonna go. Okay, this one might cause a little stir in the pot. Let me do this part of the TikTok real quick. <laughs> Muchara. She talked about this in her video that if you're in high school having a body count over five is not okay And I've always agreed with this before she even said it like I always thought that beforehand But the fact that she said it, I, it, it was a power move. I'm not even gonna lie Something like that if I had the platform I probably wouldn't say it on there if I had like a big proud platform like her that I absolutely agree and that if you have a body count over five in high school Especially if you're anything under underclassmen, I just feel like that's like way too much. Like, by no means necessary, we're trying to like slut shame anybody or say what you can do and what you can't do. But at the end of the day, that is a lot. Like, there's so many other things you should be doing, and that goes for boys and girls. Like, I'm not just talking about girls. That goes for boys and girls. Cause I know there's like a stereotype where like boys in high school can just hoe around, while girls get like slut shamed and stuff for it. But it's both ways for me. And if you're in middle school, you definitely shouldn't be doing that. Because I wasn't thinking about that type of stuff when I was in middle school. Get it together. Oh my god. I hate that part so much. Because it makes my eyes water. This is actually kind of cute. Madison Beer, Lil Huddy, and Matia are definitely overrated. I don't think Charlie D'Amelio is overrated. Like, she's really pretty. But then again, I feel like she would have been somewhat famous anyway. Dancing with the stars, or like she probably would have made a YouTube channel and blew up or something. Like, you know, you just get this vibe off of people. Yeah, Madison Beer, she's pretty. Like, I hate to be blunt, but she's literally just a tall brunette, regular looking white girl who has a nice body. Y'all gonna be real mad at me. Little Huddy, I already know he's canceled. He says the N word, and so does Matia. He's canceled too. He was cute at first until like he said the N word, and then I was just like, eh. And then he got that haircut. And then everybody else decided to cancel him because he got ugly when he got a haircut. But my thing is, like, y'all cancel him over a haircut, but not for saying the N word. Okay. I have to put lashes on. Before I go grab my lashes, Instagram is really just to show you outfits or your face and then go about your day. Like, unless you have a business, as I do, um, I use it to promote, obviously. But Twitter, Twitter, honey, Twitter is where you release all your inner distress. But you do it in a nonchalant way so just in case somebody texts you and like hey what's your tweet about you can make that other tweet that's like don't listen to everything i probably <laughs> why was that so accurate twitter hits you know like twitter is that app you can go on at 4 a.m and like everybody's awake yasmin janae co lashes go shop all synthetic wigs aren't that bad i've had a lot especially if you take care of them on my head this is not a wig <laughs> um it's a closure now if you order like a synthetic hair off of like a human hair website so, so like if you go on like i don't know like ali pearl or something like that and you order like a synthetic wig i won't recommend because you will be paying the amount for bundles for a synthetic wig so don't do that but if you do want to get like 
synthetic hair it goes to your like local beauty supplier or, like beauty store oh my gosh ap and honor classes are a waste of time let me repeat that ap and honor classes are a waste of time do not take them i've never been in any of them but every single person that i know that has taken one has regretted it at the end of the day yeah, i definitely recommend taking dual enrollment instead if you have the option for most high schools ap does not transfer to a college credit you're just literally taking advanced high school classes for what you're probably only taking the class for your parents approval or your own self-satisfaction but at the end of the day end of the year when you get to college you'll be able to transfer your credit and then you have to pay to take a test if you have to get a certain grade on and if you don't pass the test the whole class is, is just fail like you don't get anything for it that's like nothing i would do <laughs> no negative the next one is kind of tea dub smash and triller definitely had a big influence on tiktok i and i mean like the app itself the people on the app like everything and that is on vine <laughs> you don't really see a lot of vine-ish content on tiktok to be honest with you like every now and again you'll see like a video that reminds you of vine denim shorts personally i don't find really cute um really nothing wrong with them i just don't like the way they look all the time i feel like the little bohemian looking shorts look so much better or even biker shorts i have some biker shorts are way more comfortable anyway i feel like denim shorts you wear to like a family summer event like a family reunion or something like that but just to wear no nothing irks my nerves more than when the inner corner doesn't stay and second last one is uggs and vans will always be in style i don't care what anybody says uggs and vans will always be like undefeated like people are gonna always buy vans they're gonna always buy uggs like they're the undefeated shoe and there's so many different styles and colors like you can't lose with a pair of uggs or a pair of vans and that is on period the last one personally i feel like oh let me spray some setting spray i don't like when white people white girls specifically wear like cornrows boxy braids but as a joke they know that they're just being funny they just want to do it for attention i don't like that now i don't really how do i put this because i feel like there's a big difference because when white girls get box braids it's a big problem but then when white boys get lineups it's okay so i just feel like if you're gonna hate one you have to hate the other because it's just like literally like the same thing it's literally the same thing i'm not gonna say i'm gonna cancel that person or that girl for doing it or that boy but i don't like when they do it out of like a joke or like out of like oh i'm about to i'm about to go viral with this you know but if you're doing it because that's where you like you grew up around that stuff like you were raised getting your hair braided or whatever getting lineups whatever then that's different yeah, that was it for my unpopular opinions so, that was it for the video like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up make sure to subscribe to my channel because i just want to grow i'm not even gonna say i want 100k anymore i just want to grow at this point um comment down below if you can, I really hope you can. Comment down below. Follow me on Instagram. Follow my social medias in general. Shop my merch. That's it. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.